Most corned beef comes, if you're getting a brisket, which this is, it comes with a spice packet. If you don't have the spice packet, all you're doing is putting together a tablespoon of, of peppercorn. This is black peppercorn, but you can use any peppercorn. I prefer mixed. This is uh, garlic flakes, but you can use any garlic source. This would use one teaspoon of the garlic flakes to one tablespoon of the black pepper and three bay leaves. I'm just gonna open this packet. That's a spice packet that comes with it. That's... You're gonna cook it with the uh, fat side to the heat source, so this will be down in the pot. So we're gonna cook this for three hours. We're gonna simmer it for three hours. Put this spice packet on top. As I said, this is simply mixed pepper, corn, bay leaves, garlic. We're gonna fill it up so that it's over the meat. I'm turning it up high to, to get the water to boil. Once the water is boiling, I'll turn it down to a simmer. Now that the corned beef has been, has reached a, a rapid boil, we'll turn it down. So that's a perfect simmer. Two hours on the timer. So <clears throat> we're gonna add the cabbage. It's now uh, been almost two hours. Cut the cabbage. I said four, but let's take the larger pieces and cut that. We'll now keep it at a, at a very low simmer. It's now been 45 minutes. The cabbage is cooked. We can take that out. And here's the corned beef, which as you see is, even as I take it out, is falling apart. And that produces an extremely tender piece that literally falls apart.